Do you want to know what happens when you bake cookies on a computer processor? Well, that's what we're going to be doing today. Today, this is Cooking with Jay, everyone's favorite series where we bake some assorted piece of food on computer hardware to find out if it's possible. And today, we're doing chocolate chip cookies. Now, a lot of people have asked me recently, why are we actually doing cooking on a tech channel? And to answer that question, I have no idea. But you know what? It's a lot better to say, I have a cooking channel to some girls, than it is to say, I have a tech channel. So, we're going to see how well that works out for us. So, in today's video, we're going to be baking some cookies. I hope you guys are ready for this one, because I'm also going to be eating them, taste testing them, and seeing how good they taste. So, we've got a couple of ingredients here. We've got ourselves some vanilla extract which will be for our cookies, of course. We got a little bowl. Um, we also have our cooking method. We use some cupcakes to put that on the CPU and get that cooking. Now, the lovely part of this challenge, though, is the fact that you have to make this computer processor stay cool enough that it doesn't shut off, but also hot enough that it actually cooks your cookies, which is somewhere in between of putting a good amount of cookie dough in our cooking, I guess, up apparatus. So, we've also got some brown sugar to make the cookies. Got chocolate chips, because I've got actually a couple different kinds. Chocolate chips, I absolutely love though, so we're going to put those in there. And then we've got flour, as well as some other sugar, butter, and some milk. And we're all going to be mixing it together in this. So, unlike most cooking channels, this is on the lovely place of the internet, and we actually do cook this on some uncommon, extremely uncommon, quite uncommon pieces of hardware. So, Let's get started by making this. So I'm first off going to just get everything going. Uh, basically how we usually do this is we have a cupcake holder or a cupcake cup. We put that onto the CPU, let it cook for a bit, and see how it goes from there. So we've got to get started cooking now. So first off, I'm going to start mixing our lovely ingredients in our bowl. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So first off, um, this is cooking with Jay, which pretty much means I don't cook. Uh, a lot, so we're just going to mix these and hope that we get something edible. Not to mention something that cooks and I don't die from salmonella poisoning. Let's get started. So first things first, I'd say we mix our little bit of ingredients. I think we mix our butter, milk, and flour first. So I'm going to start by putting our liquids in there. And we're going to start with just putting a little butter into our cup. Pour that in there real quick. And there's our starting of this wonderful train wreck of an idea that I had last night. Next up, we have our milk, and this is just regular low-fat milk. If you wanted to replicate this by some odd means that, you know, you were just as crazy as I am, not only should you contact me so we can play some video games together, you should also repeat this yourself. Pour our lovely milk in there. Now it's time for some flour. I say we probably should just put about enough in here that it's edible. I'm also going to mix our sugar in there as well. Put a few tablespoons in there. Also, we need to add our brown sugar. So, brown sugar, of course, gives it the lovely cookie color. So, put that in there as well. Maybe a few scoops. This is going to be quite sugary. These are going to be more like sugar cookies. And you know what? This channel, we're, we're going to make this into a cooking channel, guys. So, finally goes our chocolate chips. Add those in there that we can mix together. And now it's time we mix this all together. We might actually need to add a little bit more flour, I have a feeling. I have, it looks like I add a little way too much milk. You guys, you guys tell how much I cook, right? You know, we're just throwing a couple ingredients in there. I apologize if you do cook. If you're a professional cook watching this, I, I'm sure this is not fun to watch. This is probably like the verge on some levels. Now it's time that we mix. You guys ready for um, cookie dough? So next up, we gotta take our lovely little cupcakes here and actually just have the metal piece themselves because obviously the metal is going to be more conductive of our little chocolate chip cookies. And so we've got a little bit, it looks like it's plastic paper on the inside, but that's good. Take these suckers and we're going to put our cookie dough inside of them. And then we're going to go about making sure that we have the proper amount of cookie dough. So the difficult part about this is putting enough cookie dough in there that it will get cooked, but also won't leave the processor thermal throttling and reaching top temperatures. So you need to just have the just right amount of cookie dough to make sure that it cooks, 
but also that we get something edible at the end. So here we go. Here's the lovely little chocolate chip cookies. And I'm going to actually end up kind of bending this upwards so that way we get something that um, as time goes on will kind of uh, cook instead of just having a little um, open-ended area. This way it will keep the heat kind of in because um, we don't want the heat spreading out. We want it kind of flattening out. So there's our little cooking mechanism. Let's get some thermal paste on this processor, fire it up and let, let it cook for a bit. So our cooking apparatus looks pretty much what you would expect. Got a little thermal paste on here though. Let me grab this. And uh, let's take ourselves the little thermal paste that we've got here. Put that on the uh, processor real quick. Because we're going to need some thermal conductivity. Now unlike most uh, videos, I would actually recommend spreading out the thermal paste manually. Um, just because of the fact that the, I know this is like the verge levels here, um, but we're not actually applying a heat sink, so there is not going to be enough pressure to push out the thermal paste. Therefore, we probably should actually have to spread it out a little bit more, so that way we get as much thermal conductivity as possible. I know that looks horrible and it's verge levels, and I know there's going to be a million comments about your thermal paste application, but this is not typical thermal paste application, so leave me be. There we go. So now we've got everything ready to go. It's time to fire this up. Make sure this gets the good thermal compact contact real quick. And then let's cook our cookie dough on our uh, CPU. And let's jump the starter cable. There we go. So now it's on. Should start cooking. Hopefully we don't reach thermal max like I think we just did. This will be fun. Now, arguably in most situations, I would simply say, yeah, we could run crisis or something like on this to get the most accurate heat results. But you gotta keep in mind, this is a high wattage TDP processor. It's an old Xeon. It's my new test bench, actually. But for the most part, a couple things to point out. The simple fact is that this little piece of cookie dough is not going to hold the same amount of heat and probably, likely, when it shuts off, the amount of heat in here has probably reached the most. And when this computer does shut off, it probably has reached the point in which it is no longer able to cook any farther. And then it's time to actually taste it. So let's go through. Let's try and uh, wait for this to finish up. And then we'll uh, give it a taste test. So our little computer has shut off. It's time for the uh, taste test. Okay. Our wonderful meal. Looks like some of the chocolate chips have melted. Surprising, like really hot. Well, two things. First one, um, this did not really get to cook at all, uh, disappointingly there. But we ate it. I'm actually going to finish this batch and actually put some ingredients in here to make this actually edible. And then, but yeah, this is, so surprisingly, uh, didn't cook all the way. At least with the pancake, we got like a solid cookie. Well, not a cookie, a uh, pancake, like it was a solid piece. Um, at least with this though, I think the CPU is way too powerful. At least with like the, I don't know, the old i system that I had that got fried. Um, at least with that one, you could swap out the CPU for the i5 or whatever, so that way you could get a lower TDP. So that, my friend, is chocolate chip cookies, or dough, it's the remain dough. That chocolate chip cookies cooked on a computer processor. I mean, it's okay. A little disappointed in the fact that uh, it didn't cook all the way, but I guess that's just part of the reason why I only have such a so powerful test system. Um, it's because it's a Xeon that's going to cook a lot harder and it's going to need a bigger cooking apparatus than it will if we normally did. So I probably might need to find a different 
mounting mechanism for the next future videos if you guys really enjoyed these videos. Um, maybe 3D print like a mounting mechanism so we can actually get like a, a pot or a pan or something, I don't know. Something like really small on there though that we can actually put on there that gets heat dissipation enough to keep it cool but also enough to cook stuff. So thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Do you want to know what happens when you cook cookies? Why am I saying cooking? Jeez! Do you want to know what happens when you cook cookies on a computer processor? Well, that's what we're doing in today's video. Welcome back to Cooking with Jay, the lovely, world-famous, favorite TV show. What the? Do you want to know what happens when you cook comp Do you want to know what happens when you cook cookies on a computer processor? Well, that's what we're doing in today's video, and welcome back to Cooking with Jay the lovely little series everyone absolutely loves where we Do you want to know what happens when you make chocolate chip cookies on a computer processor? Well, that's what we're doing today. Welcome back with Cooking with Jay.